Hello, welcome to Schluter Systems Tips and Tricks video series. I'm Andy Acker. And I'm Aaron Woodruff. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about our niches and the options for shelving in them, Aaron. Correct. And so we have four different size niches. We have 12 by 6, 12 by 12, 12 by 20, and 12 by 28. Okay. Uh, the two larger ones have an adjustable shelf that you're able or the customer is able to pick where they would like that. Okay, so this can go anywhere in this niche. Correct. Top to bottom, wherever they wish. And this is made out of curdy board. That it is. So it's ready to tile. Yep. Um, the input right in. Correct. And so what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, the shelf inside of the niche using thin set. So common practices, just flat trawl into the curdy board mm -hmm. and yep. then followed by the notches. And All right, so now we've got the shelf in, uh, but the, uh, this tile work, uh, were level here that we sat it on, so a uh, couple options as far as uh, getting the top shelf to slope a little bit so the water will uh, run off. Correct, and so we have two options that we can do. We can either take the piece of tile that we're going to set on top of the shelf, build up behind it, that way you have the slope into the shower. A little more thin set in the back than the front so it kicks forward. Correct. Or the second one, what we can do is take the tile spacers, okay. wedge up the back of the shelf, that way we have the positive slope into the shower. All right, so there you go. We have those on each side and that'll get the water to sheet off. So yep. now that we got that in, uh, there's another option. Yep, and that what we we're have. going to do is we're going to show using uh, just our Deco SG product with a with glass a, shelf. Okay, so the Deco SG, you see there's a track that runs along here. It has an anchoring leg, and this is one way that you can uh, build another shelf out of glass and put that in here. So we're going to place that in here and then put the, the, the glass shelf in. Correct. Now that we have that in place, and then we what we will also do is just in order to get our slope for the, for the shelf, we will install some of the tile spacers behind it. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a slope to get the water to sheet off. Yep. Some of the access thin right. set. And if you want. Here you go. So that just slides in. Now the way that we've built this here, uh, when we go to cover up all the raw edges of the tile and frame this thing out Correct. with uh, one of our profiles, this will be a permanently affixed shelf because yep. it's going to terminate and this is going to cover all that up. Uh, but we do have the option to make these tracks a little longer and the glass a little wider and then you could actually remove the shelf if you wanted to. Yep, and one of the benefits of being able to remove the shelf would be to clean it a little bit easier just to get into there. Okay. Uh, but once again, it, that's up to the customer. All right, so there's two options. We do have a third one that yep. we can do. So our third option would be basically using two pieces of tile uh, with our Quadic profile. Okay, so two pieces of tile sandwiched together, thin set between them. Anchoring legs are in there, in the thin yep. set between the tile, and we've got two pieces of our quadic right here that are going to finish off the end. Correct. And then this one, you would have a grout joint, or just the color of grout that you're grouting rest of the shower between the two pieces of profile. Okay. Another option it would be to use a solid piece of stainless steel or aluminum. We offer that in two different profiles. One is our Sheen Step or our Reno T. And basically, by using the solid piece, you're going to eliminate the grout joint between the two pieces of tile. Okay, so as far as installing these, we've got these two in. Yep. So uh, let's take a look and see yeah, how we'll those are Yeah, we'll show how to install that. We have a, a preformed niche that's already tiled the base of it. Uh, similar to how we installed the Curdy board shelf, all points of contact would be thin-setted. You set the tile down into place, and then you would have the option to place your tile wedges underneath it just to get your positive slope. To get the slope on yep. the top shelf. Okay. Correct. And these profiles do stop a little short of the actual edge of the, uh, of the, of the niche, but they Correct. stop flush with the tile that's going around the inside. Yep. So the, the reason behind that is just so when you basically set the, the quadic up around the outside, you're going to cover that tile edge. These profiles are going to butt into that, and then you just grout this area. When we're grouting, it just gets grouted in. Correct. 
Okay, so there you are, three different options for shelves. Yep. Uh, we have, the, with the larger shelves, we have our own curdy board one that comes in the niche. Correct. Uh, we showed you how to do a glass one, because yep. that's often attractive. And then uh, a tile one, too, where you're using the same tile as you're using in the shower. So I uh, hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks, and uh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. If you'd like to see any of our other tips and tricks videos, please visit our YouTube channel or our website, schluter.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.